I'm doing Depth First Heard, entertainment, pop culture, things like that. And yes, I said Depth First Heard, and it is 2023. And you know what? Right now, this tweet here is two hours old. Excuse me, it turned three hours old now. It's about Amber. As you can see, Amber Heard is an abuser is trending right now on Twitter, right below Harry and Meghan Exposed. So I always make the comparison between the Disney Star Wars movies and the Depth First Heard situation. It's not perfect. There are big differences, but also similarities. One similarity is a lot of people seem to think that once the case was over, news about Amber would just kind of go away, disappear, and that would be it. In the same way, maybe people thought that criticism of the Disney Star Wars movies would just kind of go away, and that would be it. But the fact is that some people dislike these things so bad, they're going to take the criticism and keep spreading it pretty much for the rest of their life. Look, you're not going to be sitting there like 10 years from now and see something positive about Amber and not answer and put out your opinion. It doesn't really matter that it's a year from now, two years from now, three months after the case. You're always going to have an opinion on it that you're going to put out there in the same way a lot of Star Wars fans will have an opinion on the Disney Star Wars that's very negative. It could be 30 years from now. I'll still put my opinion out there on it. So it looks like we're seeing my theory play out. Now it's too early to tell, but so far, seems like it's not going away. This person says all the good Amber has done, with obviously a picture of Johnny's finger cut off and a bruise on Johnny's face. This person says embarrassing, look, it's a clown. Okay, I mean, not the best post, it's nothing new. But, like I'm saying, I think people will still need to get out frustration for quite a while longer. This person is pointing out that it looks like this website here is saying hire Survivor Hollywood. As if Amber is a survivor and she should be hired. Cheryl Lynn says, Dear Hollywood, please hire this walking liability so that everyone on set can feel uncomfortable worrying about being secretly recorded or they will too have false claims brought up against them. Hashtag Amber Heard is an abuser. And this person posts, whoever said you can't make this stuff up obviously never worked for CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, NBC, NPR, The Washington Post, or The New York Times. All right, that's uh, pretty interesting, pretty funny. Give it a heart. And this person here, Revolutionary Megapint, says they're so unbelievably dense. As someone who experienced childhood abuse, watching Amber's an abuser, stands, blame a kid for the abuse his mom inflicted on him is so unbelievably vile. It makes my blood boil, and as usual, I expect crickets from their community. And this person says, I've never actually tweeted myself, but still true over a year later, with a bunch of hashtags that are, let's just say, negative towards Amber. The problem stems from feminism not really being about gender equality. Whatever your definition, though, people should be equal, regardless of gender and genitalia should never be a determining factor in whether someone is innocent. It's unpopular, but even women can be abusive. And this person reminds us about Johnny's exes. Kate Moss, Vanessa Parody, and Winona Ryder all defended him. Turd, on the other hand, was arrested for abusing Tasia in 2009, which was one of her exes. Yeah, heart for you. This person reminds us, if you didn't know, that someone Amber Heard hired actually has quite a few accusations out against him. So the Amber community was dead silent on this. Dead silent. Crickets. Nothing. Zero. But logically, shouldn't they be after this guy? Shouldn't they criticize Amber for hiring a guy who's got all these allegations against him? Now, I'm not saying he did it, but I'm saying from their perspective, they don't care if there's evidence, so they should be after this guy. Just one of those nice reminders that should be out there. You get a heart. This person says, imagine your own insurance company suing you. She proved she's bad for business. Hashtags, well, very negative against Amber. This person alleges Amber drank three glasses of wine a night, which is probably true. Can't prove it, but you know, it seems like it will be in character for her. And here's one from Colonel Kurtz, where she tweets about how she got in a little scuffle online with Eve Barlow. And I'd say Colonel Kurtz won. This person posts a good old, you didn't get punched, you got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not effing deck you. I was effing hitting you. I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. 
Anyway, that's about it. Obviously, not a deep dive here, but I'm coming to say it's 2023, and right now, this is still trending, and I predict it won't go away for a little while. Let me know what you think down below. Doing pop culture, entertainment, things like that. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't subscribe, I'll be pretty sad about it, but I'll get over it. See you next time.